See this kid right there? He's been worthless all stinking day. You've done nothing, have you? Since about 8 and it's 2. Since 8 o'clock till 2. He's done essentially nothing but play on that computer. And, uh, Did he eat a hot pocket? So, um, but my point, my point to this is, you know, this is our generation. This is the generation we're raising up. Um, they have no purpose. Their purpose is to sit on a computer all day, uh, to play video games, to play sports, things like that. And so, or to sit behind me and make faces while I'm talking. He, he does that pretty well, too. But, um, you know, I, th I think a lot of the problems we have in our generation uh, with our children growing up, it, with this whole drug and alcohol thing, I don't know if I was sheltered when I was young, but, uh, well, I was. I know I was to some degree, but um, I think a lot of the problems, kids do not have purpose. I think that they sit around playing their computer games all day long too much, and uh, sports is everything, music is everything, uh, getting um, great grades <laughs> for some kids is everything. And they, that's what they, that's their purpose. Their purpose is all about me. What's in it for me? What is? How is something going to make me better? And so often we do not. What? What are you gonna say? Yeah, we're a lot about ourselves. And and we're we're teaching them to be that. That's what we do. Uh, I had a pastor one time say that uh, more is caught than taught. And what he means is that in that more is caught that we try to teach them things and we said do this, do that. But what they do is they watch us. And as they watch us, they pick up our habits. They pick up the things that we do. And the other thing that I think is the same pastor said, you know. Um, is uh, it's embarrassing to see our mistakes running around on little legs. And, he, and and what it's talking about is our things, they pick up on it. And they see what we do, and they imitate that stuff. Our children are essentially little us's running around, if that makes sense. And uh, But this whole purpose thing, it it's also passed down. What are you doing to pass down to your children the importance of a, a kid having purpose? Or do you have a purpose? What are you doing? Are you all about you? Are you all about your car and you're more interested in driving an SUV than you are a minivan? Or you're more interested in living in a big house when maybe your <coughs> kids could share bedrooms or something like that? I don't know. That's just some things that came off of my head. But, um, you know, what are you doing? Are you ringing the bell for Salvation Army? Do you, do you volunteer like that? Do you volunteer at a soup kitchen? Do your kids ever see you being helpful to other people um, and making a difference? You know, this is not about changing the world. I, I'm not talking about changing the world. I'm talking about changing the world of one. And, that you know, we think of Mother Teresa as being amazing and changing the world. You know what she did? She changed the world of one person, one at a time. Uh, one day she had a camera crew with her, and she was uh, replacing bandages on a man, I believe, with leprosy. And the camera guy or the reporter said to her, he says, oh, my goodness, he says, you could not pay me a million dollars to do what you're doing. And she said, you know what? You couldn't pay me a million dollars to do it either. She was about serving. And, you know, I think about uh, how I was raised and what I believe. And, you know, I Jesus was he the creator of the universe, okay? Jesus is the creator of the universe. Some of you don't believe that. I totally believe that. But Jesus came to earth, uh, and we're coming up with Christmas, so we, we, we're aware of that right now, that whole idea. But when he came to earth, he didn't come here to be served. He didn't come here to be the greatest. He didn't come here to be the king. And his followers said to him, and says, Jesus, tell us this, who's going to be the greatest? And I believe they were talking about among the 12 of them, which one of them would be the greatest. And he says, which one of you wants to be the greatest? Because if you want to be the greatest, you have to become you have to become like a little child. You have to become like someone who serves. And he said, you know, who is the, who's greater? The one who is um, at the table or the one who is serving the person at the table? And in their culture, in our culture, hey, the greater one is the one at the table. But he said, I come to you as one who serves. The creator of the universe came. And you know, it's interesting. He set the bar so high by setting it so low. Um, he told us to be servants. And so, you know, that's that's what this is all about today. And I hope this has challenged you. I hope it makes you think. Um, give our kids a purpose. We need to get a purpose. Our children need a purpose. And you know what? I firmly believe that if they have a purpose worth doing day in and day out, it's going to take the whole drug problem and the alcohol problem and cut it way back. That's what I think. Hey, thanks for taking five with Greg. Matt, say bye. Later.